friends, I am Dr. Anurag Saxena, Head of Department of Neurosurgery at Manipal Hospitals, Dwarka, New Delhi. In this series of videos, we are going to talk about brain tumor. What exactly is brain tumor? Brain tumor, kya hote hain? How they can be treated? Unko hum kaise unka upchar kar sakte hain? Or what are the signs and symptoms of brain tumors? Matlab ki brain tumor aapko hai ki nahi hai? Aapko kaise pata lagega? Ya kuch aise signs and symptoms aapko dekhna hai jo brain tumor ke ho sakte hain. Now, first of all, in this video, we are going to discuss what is brain tumor. Brain tumor actually is what? So, tumor is actually a, a abnormal growth of cells inside the body, anywhere in the body. Whenever it occurs in the brain, it is called as a brain tumor. But they are usually in the form of abnormal masses of cells, and normally we call them as lump in parts of the body. And in brain, they are called as a space occupying lesion or tumors, or commonly called as brain tumors. So whenever this kind of tumors occur, they can occur from the membranes of the brain, which are called as meninges. They can occur from the cells of the brain, which like astrocytes or other neuronal cells, and then they are called as gliomas. And then there are different locations of the brain tumor, and they can come from different uh, components of the brains. Now, one of the very common questions which is asked is, who can have brain tumors? So the answer is there is no particular age for brain tumors. Brain tumors are seen in newborn babies right from one day of birth till around old age patients. You can see this kind of tumors in young patients also. It is true that malignant tumors are more common in older age group, but with uh, rapid development in imaging uh, modalities and diagnostic modalities like MRIs, we are seeing this kind of tumors in younger age group patients also. Although it is uh, uh, one thing to be kept in mind is that the tumors in children and in infants are different as compared to the tumors which are found in adult age group and their treatment and other uh, modalities are also different. So uh, then what the question occurs is are they really common? So answer is no, brain tumors are not a common entity but because we are neurosurgeons and we, we deal this kind of patients on a regular basis for us it is a common occurrence. Now, what are the causes of brain tumors? So, very very common question whenever a patient comes to me or whenever we uh, we are asked about brain tumors, the most important question is asked is what exactly causes brain tumor? The answer is largely we do not know. Like other, other cancers or other tumors, we are not really sure what is the exact cause. Most of the time it is multifactorial. There are very rarely some tumors which run into families and you have certain syndromes called as neurofibromatosis and uh, so on. And those kind of tumors and those kind of uh, syndromes, you can have tumors which can run in families. There are certain genetic predispositions also which uh, can cause this kind of tumors. Also, very important factor is if you have got uh, radiation therapy for some uh, disease like blood cancer in childhood, and in those cases, uh, you can have certain tumors which are called as meningiomas, which can be attributed uh, to uh, radiation therapy. Now, as commonly thought or as commonly uh, you know, you are reading around that mobiles and use of tablets are major causes of brain tumor. The answer is that up till now there is no conclusive study to link mobile uses, usage or tablet usage uh, with the causes uh, which, which as a causative factor for brain tumor. Although studies are going on but it doesn't mean that uh, it can be used uh, regularly. You, we know that they emit radiation and their use should be limited. Now what are the types of brain tumor? Uh, brain tumors are divided into two broad categories. They are one is benign tumors or so called non-cancerous tumors and then there are malignant tumors. Malignant tumors you can say they are cancerous tumors, they spread inside the brain and destroy part of the brain. Benign tumors are the tumors which usually occur in and around the brain and they cause compression on the brain structures and if they are taken out completely that compression can be removed. Malignant brain tumors have a tendency to spread around the brain and destroy the part of the brain. And obviously the outlook of malignant tumors is poorer as compared to benign brain tumors. Now in other series of videos we are going to talk about the signs and symptoms which you have to look for if you have brain tumor. And then subsequently the treatment which we can do if somebody is diagnosed with brain tumor. Thank you.